Welcome back YouTube for another video on myself, Obsidian Gaming, and today we are continuing our little tutorials over on Green Hell. And for today's video is all about the pottery table. Go tell you how to get the recipe, what you can actually create with the pottery table, and some benefits of using the pottery table. So, first of all, let's get the recipe. Very easy, all you need to do is come over towards any type of water, right click, keep finger down on it, and take mud and then the recipe will be in your book ready for you. Once you've found yourself a suitable location where you want to put your pottery table, this is the recipe you need. You need sticks times 10, seven planks, four long sticks, four ropes, one bamboo log, and one coconut bowl. So there's a lot of resources here we need to gather. I'm going to put it there because I can't really remember which side we need to work it from. But that is everything we need for now, and we'll come back to it once it's cleared. As is the way all the time on Green Hell, the item that you try and find, you can never find it. It's literally taking me about 25 minutes running around trying to find a coconut. Honestly, it's nowhere non-existent and this one tree has three. Oh, I needed the one. It's taking ages, honestly. Anyway, let's get back towards the um, where we're building our little pottery table. Now we've finally created our little table. This is everything what it will look like. So to change your items that you wish to create is simply right click and you can select between a small bowl, a big clay bowl and a clay bottle there and they're going to be unbaked. So this is the first part of it. We need some moulds down at the bottom. We need some water here at the top and then for extra items there's the melted ore as well so it adds into it. I would recommend as well a little bit of a tip if you build a water collector just right next to it saves you running to and forth with your binding you can just fill it up in there and then drop your water in at the top there to fill it up and for your molds what you want to do is get one of these mud bricks right click and harvest i'll give you three molds per brick come back and then we'll just drop them in the bottom and then we've got enough requirements down on the bottom for the recipe finger on e and that now then make it so that's our little clay ball at the moment i'll make the recipes and then we'll be back once we've um, created them into the clay balls on bakes what you want to do is place them by the fire like so and use your fire tool of choice get that fire ignited on Oh, it's a little bit glitchy this one, you've got to come at a certain angle. There we go. But the time started for that and that's just um, letting it dry really, letting it set. It only takes a couple of minutes just to get them dried out and get them finished off. So for the small bowl, it holds 10 water. The big clay bowl holds 30 water. And the Biden, to make it work, we need to craft. Then get some rope, attach it to make the clay bottle. And a clay bottle, let's check how much we get for that one. So 100 hydration for the clay bottle it can fill. That's quite a good going actually. So coconuts are around 20, aren't they? I think they're 20. Let's double check just to confirm that before we go. 40. There we go. That's completely wrong. There you go. So coconuts are 40 and the clay bottles are 100. So it's definitely worth having a couple of these clay bottles. Very easily to do as well. Didn't really take too long to do it. A bit of a pain trying to find the coconuts, but however, we've done it in the end. Thanks very much for watching, guys. If you stayed all the way to the end, thank you very much. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found it helpful. And as always, subscribe to the channel, find out more content on Green Hell to come. Thank you very much, guys. Take care of yourself, and as always, stay safe. Bye for now.